You woke up before 5 a.m. again and can't get back to sleep. You keep doing this and fear that your insomnia is returning. It always comes back when you're ignoring things you shouldn't be ignoring. Often your feelings. You have such a naturally unbothered disposition that you often don't realize when you're under intense periods of stress or grief. Your body generally has to communicate this to you because you never trusted your mind to do that. And honestly, it's done in a pretty rude way, I gotta say. A lot of, oh, you wanna sleep? Get the fuck up and deal with your shit, you little bitch. When that doesn't work and you avoid the intrusive thoughts by doom scrolling on your phone, your body takes a more creative approach and presents you with a pretty spectacular ocular migraine. Oh my god, I love it. You shouldn't have. Your body knows that only a psychedelic spiral of temporary blindness is the tried and true method of getting you to put shit down, focus on yourself because your vision won't let you focus on anything else. Ironically, you blame these migraines on the insomnia. I mean, it feels a little counterproductive if your body's trying to tell you something, but whatever. Maybe your body is just competing for attention with your mind. Great. Now you can't trust your body or your mind. No wonder you have trust issues. Coffee will save this. You've already forgotten what day of the week it is because you haven't had any work. Though lately, you've been trying to get more into planetary magic because why the fuck not? You base your outfit each day on whatever the ruling planet is. You wear white on Monday to impress the moon. Tuesdays, it's always something in red to be in cahoots with Mars. On Wednesday, your ruling planet, Mercury, enjoys seeing you in shades of green or purple. Thursdays are the day you focus on the most because you're trying to get rich and Jupiter loves yellow. Obviously, Friday, I'm in love, so pink is suggested to seduce Venus. Saturday comes pretty naturally to you because Saturn is clearly a goth at heart and likes the color black. On Sundays, you like to wear a splash of gold or anything bright to get on the sun's good side. Today is Friday. Are you in love yet? You recently played that game 36 Questions to Fall in Love. You played it with a new guy that isn't really new, but new to you. Does that make sense? The game was developed by some psychologists in the 70s to speed up intimacy, and the questions feel like a mixture of dumb hinge prompts mixed with the uh, Proust questionnaire. The last time you played this game was with your friend. The two of you were on a bender and so intoxicated that the quiz had an opposite effect and you just fell more in love with yourselves. But that's just how you two are. It did bring you both closer together. You consider this friend family at this point and would take a bullet for them. Was it the quiz? Was it the absurdity of that experience? Or is it just your dynamic? Who knows? You didn't really know what to expect when you played this game with the new guy that isn't really new but new to you. You are completely sober this time, and you're way less self-absorbed than you used to be. You paid attention to their answers and worried less about your own. Is that growth? That's a good thing, right? The two of you joked that if you do have the misfortune of falling madly in love with each other, you can blame it on the quiz. Maybe Venus will get the last say on that. I hope Venus likes this outfit. 